right, so thanks to Sony, they've sent me a game to review that has been in development for almost 10 years. Oh, The Last Guardian. Yeah, The Last Guardian has been in what I would state as development hell. <laughs> like, like, I don't understand. So I played The Last Guardian, and I got mixed, I got mixed feelings on it because parts of me really like it. I think it's an awesome game. It feels like the next evolution to where Team Ico has come with the Ico series and, and the Shadow of the Colossus game. So to bring it to The Last Guardian, it, it almost feels like a no-brainer. But why it took almost 10 years, I don't freaking understand at all. Some of the gameplay mechanics are a little mind-blowing. They don't work properly. You are this little boy that starts off with this creature, this dog-like cat, like Bird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Say, right? Yeah, Trico, it's cool, which is really cool, by the way. I Trico thought. is, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Is Trico? He is very cool. That thing is incredible. He's so well animated, but he's a pain in the ass. Because I don't know if the developer did it on purpose, but it almost feels like you're training an animal. You're calling him. You're trying to call him, and he's not doing anything. He's just kind of looking at you. I'm like, jump over here. He's not jumping over there. I'm like, okay, now I'm climbing up on you. Let's jump together. And he just, he just <laughs> jumped me. Like, why aren't you jumping? Just jump, damn it. But the game is, it's, it's very cool. It's one of the, I feel like I could keep thinking about it. So it's, it's got its hooks into me. And I keep wanting to go, man, I should kind of keep going. I, I put a ton of hours in, but I'm not quite, I'm like this close to finishing, right? But it's just one of those things that I'm tired of fighting with the controls. Your own controls. Even when you jump, it's the triangle button. <laughs> like, that's such a control scheme of 10 years ago. Everybody jumps with Xbox now. You don't jump with the triangle button. That's the way they have it set up. Unless you're playing a Bethesda game, because the Elder Scrolls games and Fallout are always wide, but that's a whole nother. <laughs> that's true. That's a whole nother ball game. Yeah. So you play as this creature. You play as the boy who works together with the creature. And as the game develops, there's a bond that grows. And you're trying to escape this dungeon you've been kind of captivated in. There's no justification as to why you're there. And then I found this, this like uh, shield, which was very cool and she shined some light. And then all of a sudden it is gone. I had it for like five minutes and I didn't see it for the rest of the game. I'm like, hey, this is a cool mechanic you just introduced, but where did it go? That's, that's not good. It was weird. So it's just kind of, you just forget about it and you move on, right? Yeah. But so as it, as you grow throughout the game, you control the character, the creature a little bit more. So it almost feels like you are training that creature, that dog bird like thing. And he is becoming more responsive, but there are, it's just, he, because he's so big, he doesn't control the way you want him to. So when you're up on him and you're trying to command him to go here, you sometimes duck down the narrow, narrow passage and then the camera angle just goes all fucked up because you can't see because he's in a tight space and he's so big compared to the environment. But there's times where I just, I would stop. Completely, I completely stopped and just watched him. <laughs> what am I doing? I just, there was this big pool of water and he just played it. I sat there for five minutes watching him roll around in the water and then he'd shake off and stuff. It's so well animated. All the feathers and stuff are all like individual. It's yeah, not just a baked on image, right? Yeah. It is, they've taken the time to craft this creature and it is, it is incredible. But again, yeah, 10 years, this should have been a PS4 launch title is what it should have been. And then I think they would have had more sympathy. Critically, I think it's done okay from a fan base. I think people either love it, they love it, or they hate it. There's no in between, right? Yeah. So it's one of those one of those things. I really kind of dig it though. There's parts of me that I, I get frustrated. I'm so mad, and I don't understand why he's not acting or kind of solving the puzzle the way that he should. But our puzzle is basically at, at the core of the game. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle game. It is. It's simple, but it's not. The puzzles are crafty. They have uh, taken the time. And part of me keeps going back, but why the hell is this taking so long? You have a game, a first party studio like Naughty Dog. You know what they've launched? They've launched Uncharted 1, Uncharted 2, and Uncharted 3, as well as The Last of Us on PS3 and PS4. And 
in Uncharted 4. <laughs> yeah. They watched five titles and the time has taken them to develop one game. Yeah. There is no way Sony's getting their money back on this title. Not a chance in hell are they About getting money. ten years of work. I don't really understand. I really don't understand. And even some of the textures, when you go up close, they're blurry. Like this thing should be absolutely close to the ground. Scratch my head, like seriously? That texture should not be just a giant blur. That should be crisp as hell. That thing should look pristine. And it just doesn't. And then you fight with some of the mechanics. And it just, <laughs> yeah. like, you see how I'm getting frustrated just talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Right? But there's part of me, I keep thinking about the game. So, I don't know. I'm at a loss. Would you say that the characters were very lovable? Like, were you, did you grow an attachment to the animal and to your character that you were playing? Yes. Yeah, I did. There, there's the, the bond that they create. You can't help but feel kind of warm and fuzzy inside because of it. But again, it's you take the main character, the little boy, and his design, art style, compared to the rest of the game, seems off. When it was first announced, it was that, and it looked great. But then, as they as it developed over the course of the ten, almost ten years. I, I thought I would have seen more of a progression of the art style for the little boy to match more of the rest of the game. Because everything else is supposed to be more or less realistic. And the boy is like cell shaded. So it's kind of got a, a weird art twist to it. But yeah, that bond between the two, it grows. The more they play throughout the game, that bond grows. And you can see that he's, the little boy is training the creature. Trico. I want to call him Trico. <laughs> oh, it's a weird name. <laughs> so they, they train, he trains him, most likely you train your pets. So then he does start to listen, and you go, okay, jump over here, and then jump. And then you work. And the coolest thing is, is that he helps you solve some of the puzzles. It's not just a character that's thrown in there just to piss you off. Yeah, right? that's cool. Yeah, he helps. He is the answer to some of the puzzles. It's just that simple. And it is a very cool game. My score, I'm having a hard time scoring it because I am caught. <laughs> You're stuck with right? rock in our place. <laughs> I am stuck, but I, I want to rate this at a seven. Yeah, okay, yeah. seven's good. Yeah, it was a cool game. Definitely check it out. I wouldn't pay full pop. I'd wait till you kind of catch it on sale or Sony puts it on sale in the store. But yeah, it's got some moments to it that are just touching like a lot of games haven't been lately. <clears throat> Very cool. That is going to wrap up the first episode of the Iron Sight Gaming Podcast. Thank you very much for listening and watching our review. I am Drew Bosley. You can follow me on Twitter at 4 Next Level Gamers. And Nathan? You can follow me. Doom Guy. Doom Guy Parker 50. What a lovely Twitter account. That is so long. What that, are you doing? I don't know. How long is Nathan Quinn? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Until next time. Thanks a lot. See you next week. Thanks for joining.